Okay, so we all played Resident Evil 8 Village. So today I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion and what I think of Resident Evil 8 Village. Is it a good game? Is it a bad game? Or is it right there smack dab in the middle? Stay tuned and find out. Okay, so first and foremost, this is how I feel about the game. The game is it's good. It's fun. It has its scary moments. And I think it is an okay Resident Evil game. Will you have fun playing this game? Absolutely. Is it an easy platinum game? It all depends on how you are. It all depends on if you have the patience for it. And if you, you know, if you love collecting trophies. If you have the patience for it and you love collecting trophies, then yes, this is an easy platinum game for you. So it picks up after Resident Evil 7. Um, you know, Ethan Winters, it is what it is. He's find himself in some more BS again. And, you know, he's in the village trying to find his daughter. And we're going on along with the ride with the adventure of Ethan Winters, which I think he's a cool character. I like Ethan. Do I like him better than Leon? No. Do I like him better than Chris? Hell yeah. Um, he is going into this village to find his daughter. They kidnapped his daughter. They killed. Well, they, you know, spoiler. This video is going to have spoiler alert. So, you know, spoiler alert. Um, they killed his wife and kidnapped his daughter. So now we are trying to find the killers and rescue our daughter or his daughter from the clutches of Mother Miranda. Good plot twist. Good good story. I like the game. I think it is a great way to end the winter saga. I really like it. And I think this is... I, I think... People don't give it enough credit for what it's worth. Um, honestly, I think they should just called it, you know, Village instead of Resident Evil. Because honestly, in my honest opinion, it doesn't really feel like a Resident Evil game once you get into the middle of the story. The, the parts where it feels like a Resident Evil game is the beginning of the game. The smack that middle, the smack that beginning of the game feels like you're in a Resident Evil game. And then when you get to the castle, the fight on Lady D and her little daughters or whatever, that feels like a Resident Evil. That feels like the Resident Evil part to me. What don't feel like a Resident Evil part to me is when you get to, once you fight the doll. When you fight the doll... After you fight the doll, it tones down. Then you get to the fish. And then you get to um, Heisenberg. And then you get to Mother Miranda. I don't think it was... The the boss selection was... To me, it was wrong. But we'll get into that later on in the video. <laughs> I like this game. I do like the game. I do. I did do a lot of playthroughs to this game. I beat the game a lot. Um, do it have its annoyances? Absolutely. Every Resident Evil has its annoyances. Everybody have a part in Resident Evil games that they do not like. You know, for those of you who watch my channel, y'all know I do not like um, the shooting on Resident Evil 5. I don't like when we in the uh the jeep and we shooting all the zombies off the motorcycles. I hate that part. It, it's annoying and I just don't like it. I hate. I really hate that part with a passion. Like I won't play that game. I won't play that part by myself. I either have to have my wife play with me or my son or I'll get online and play with somebody else. But I will never do that scene by myself. But let's get back to Resident Evil Eight. Um. For those of you want to know, do you have to play Resident Evil 7 to get the story in Resident Evil 8? The answer is yes. You need to play Resident Evil 7 to understand who Ethan is and what he's about. And then you can get into Resident Evil 8. Do I feel like this is a Resident Evil 8 game? No. 
I really don't. I feel as though they put Resident Evil in front of it just to sell copies. And this is coming from my this is coming from a major Resident Evil fan. I am a huge fan of Resident Evil. I have played every single number of Resident Evil from one to this one. And I kind of enjoyed all of them. I, I, I don't don't get me wrong. I enjoyed this one too. I just feel as though Cat Computer did more to make me believe this is a Resident Evil game. The favorite boss and the favorite meme in the game is the first boss in the game. I don't think that was a smart strategy to me. I think. We, I honestly think that she should have been the very last boss before Mother Mother Miranda, but that's just me. But it has a lot of jump scares. It has a lot of good things that you about to see right here. This was a major jump scare for me. This scared the living hell out of me. <laughs> like she cut his she cut his wrist and hand off like that. You can't get no brutal than that. She is like a vicious boss. I love her as a boss. I just wish. They would do more. I wish they. I wish they did more with her. Mother Miranda like I wish she would have came back calculating and did some other stuff. Village. But this is like kind of the four lords. Lord There's four mm -hmm. lords in this game. You got Lady D. You got Heisenberg. Uh, second doll lady and the fish monster. The second dude. lives deep in a valley of mist. Um, the doll maker. Honestly, Donna I would have had the fish monster. Oh, come on, yo. Then I would have did Heisenberg. State. No, then I would have so the next boss, the Lady Doll, Heisenberg, then Lady the Day, and the castle. Like that's how I would have had my boss in the up. reservoir, past the windmills. But he goes he through each, not the only each doorway to get each oh, flag of a piece of his daughter to try to bring her the back to life. And, most and that's you know honorable and pretty much we've seen that kind of thing before in a game i can't remember the name of the game Let's but we've seen this before and catcom had one of the stupidest puzzles in the game this puzzle right here pissed me off so bad i almost broke my controller i hate this puzzle this is one of the stupidest puzzles you could ever put in the game in fact if they i think they did this shit to be smart because they know Mo mostly Resident Evil fans, we like doing puzzles, but this box, this musical box, I literally did not figure out this puzzle until the following day after I, I was recording. Like, I did this video a while ago. I mean, this game came out like, what, six, like nine months ago. And when I beat the game during the first week, it took me a day. It took me almost... I would say like a day to figure out this puzzle. Like I kept coming back and forth to it and I just couldn't figure it out. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not getting stressed out over it. As you can see, these are, these are all my failed attempts. There's like five or six failed attempts in this video. This is the stupidest puzzle ever. Just saying. <sighs> Sorry about that. I just had to vent. But um, it's um, they do challenge you a lot. They challenge your brain waves and brain cells a lot in this game. And it's some cliche things in here. A lot of people are not going to like. Me, personally, I didn't like. There's a lot of things in here I did like. There's a lot of things I didn't like. A lot of things I was like, eh, all right, whatever. And this puzzle was like one of the ones that just, this is one of my pet peeves in the game. Like, this was one of my pet peeves in the game. And this is one of the ugliest things I've ever seen in my life. Catcom, y'all sick and y'all need help. Y'all really need help. Like, what type of mind makes a baby like this? And then this boss fight was, like, one of the weirdest but fastest boss fights ever. Just stabbed the doll three times in the head and the fight is over. So, that's why I didn't really bring too much about the doll. It wasn't, you know, she wasn't a tough boss. Like, she should have been, like, the first boss in the game. Honestly, like, it wasn't even that hard. It wasn't that much to figure out. Anything like that, but anyway, let's go on to my review of the game. I'm putting random clips in here just to let y'all know how I some parts that I didn't like, some parts I did like. Like this part right here. This is one of the stupidest trophies that Catcom ever put in the game. 
you have to have exactly $777 in your account. So basically, if you don't like math, you're not going to get this trophy. It's going to irritate the hell out of you. It took me a while. To, it took me a while to figure out how to do it. But once I figured out, OK, wait, I could just buy everything and then get zero and then sell my rifle ammo and then sell shotgun ammo, which will probably get me up to 777. OK, but let's do that. But that's easier said than done. As you can see, I did struggle with this a lot. I had to do a lot of math and a lot of calculations to get this trophy. And it was just like one of the, not, I'm not going to say one of the hardest trophies, but one of the most annoying trophies that I had to get in this game. Um, I bought, as you can see, I bought everything there is to buy. This is probably like my ninth or 10th playthrough in the game. Um, I bought everything. I have everything on max. Uh, mostly my guns anyway. Uh, I got all the guns, all the rifles, I got everything built up, got all the formulas for everything. This is probably like my 10th playthrough trying to get, um, all the trophies. I think this, this and the mercenaries trophies was my last trophies that I had to achieve in the game. So I took my time doing that. I still didn't platinumize it yet. I still got to go through one more part of the game and that's beat the game using a knife. If y'all want me to do that in a live, let me know because I'm thinking about doing that to get that last trophy, beat the whole game using a knife. So leave it in the comments down below if you want me to do that in a live or a video. So let's move on after we I thought I figured out all that 1800. I spent the 1800. I had zero. I went down. I started. I sold my rifle ammo, and I believe it was the uh, yeah, rifle ammo. I sold all my rifle ammo well, most of it to get 777. It's a lot to do with that trophy, it really is a lot to do. And then this was one of the most. Me personally, this is not mercenaries. This is the this is the this is the weakest attempt of a merchant a mercenary game ever. And if you get all S's in the mercenary, you unlock a lifesaver. You heard me right, a oh, fucking yes. lifesaver from Star Wars. Me being a nerd and a geek that I am, I was so happy to get that. He's come again. But the fact that, that the fact that I had to still had to pay for it to get it in my thing was just irritating enough. I shouldn't have to pay for it once I unlocked it, but whatever. That's neither here or there. So this is me playing around with it. I like it so far. Now I didn't I didn't um go through the game. I just went around. I didn't save it or anything. So if y'all want to see me go through the whole game with a lifesaver, let me know in the comments just down below. But this is me just seeing how it works, see if it was worth all the time and effort. And I gotta say, as a nerd, yes, it was worth it. But as a Resident Evil fan, no. Because if I wanted to play Star Wars, I would buy a Star Wars game. Just saying. But they could have done something so much better with that I appreciate it as a fan. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate it. I love it. But, you know, a lot of people, a lot of gamers is not going to be like, well, I should just go to Star Wars game and play Star Wars. And that's understandable. Now, let's get to the four lords of this game. Lady D would have been my last boss choice. I would have had the doll, doll maker, the fishman, Heisenberg, and Lady D. Those would have been the choices that you had to go through the game to order to get to Mother Miranda. I don't know why they went with um, Lady D, um, the doll maker, the fishman, and Heisenberg last. Heisenberg, you know, he's a he was a he was a hard boss, but he was you know he was like yeah well you get what you get whatever whatever nobody really cares. But the main the main uh, excuse me the main person who was in all the memes and all the Stuff was Lady D. Everybody 
like she's like one of the most one of the most funny and well the funny um you know if you've seen all the things on YouTube with her being in the uh sexy dress, some of them uh tra changed her up to be um what's her name? Esmeralda, stuff like that. So it is what it is. Alright, so her mother Miranda is not really the most difficult boss to beat. First time playing her, yeah, she's kind of difficult to beat. But after you play it a few times, you know, she's easy to kill. So, what would I give this game? If I was to give this game a rating, what would I give it? I would give this game, honestly, a 7 out of 10. For a Resident Evil game, it's kind of in the bare minimum. It's, it's probably right there, smack dab in the middle of the game. Like... Once you get past Lady D, once you get past the castle, and you get past the dollhouse, and, you know, everything else is just, like, you know, eh, not too scary, but, you know, all right, let's see where they go with this. I think that they should do more. Now, it's been a rumor going around that they having some DLC coming our way, but that was said back in, I think, what, what was it, August? Was it August or like August or July? August or July when they had the PlayStation um state of play? They was talking about you know they got DLC coming, but that was back in either July or August, and here we are in November, still haven't seen no DLC yet. Resident Evil Seven had DLC like three months after the game came out. We had Banish Footage 1, Banish Footage 2, you know, uh, The End of Zoe, Jack's Birthday, Ethan oh, Must yes. Die. And with this game, and also we had the Chris Redfield game, um, I think it's, uh, I'm Not a Please Hero, some, something like that. But with Resident Evil 8 Village, we haven't gotten any DLC yet. And me personally, I don't think that that Mercenaries game... Is not a mercenaries game to me because everybody know what Resident Evil mercenaries is. I had a, I got a bunch of mercenary videos on this channel. You can go check it out. But if now that I think about all this stuff, a seven out of ten is being too nice. I'm gonna give Resident Evil eight because the mercenaries just killed. I'm just memorizing all this stuff in my head. Mercenaries. Killed the game for me, honestly. So I'm gonna give Resident Evil 8, including with mercenaries, a 6 out of 10. Now, if they come with some banging and decent DLC, it can go back up to a 7 out of 10. That's if they come with some good DLC. They have to come with good DLC, or can you change my verdict? But is it worth getting if it's on sale? Yes. Is it worth the full price? Not really, not so much. If you haven't played Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil, if you want to play Resident Evil 8, if you want to play both of them, I would get both of them as a package deal. I think they had that a couple of weeks ago on the PlayStation Store. Uh, get Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 8 for like like 60 bucks or 80 bucks like that, something like that. That is worth getting. It's worth the price, especially when you get all the stuff from Resident Evil 7. You get a, a lot of Resident Evil stuff in Resident Evil 7 if you get that package you get. Everything that I mentioned, all the DLC in Resident Evil 7, and you get everything in Resident Evil 8. So I think that would be a good deal to get that for 80 bucks. Well, let me get, let me know what your what y'all guys' opinion is about Resident Evil 8 Villas. Do you agree with my my rating? Is it too low? Is it too high? Is it right there in the middle? Is it good? Is it bad? Did you enjoy play Resident Evil 8 Village? Let me know in the comments down below. Remember, again, this is my honest opinion and what I feel about the game. Now, I am a huge Resident Evil fan. You can check out my channel. You, the proof is in the pudding. I love Resident Evil. I love survival horror games. This did not, honestly, to, to me, it didn't feel like a Resident Evil game after I got past the castle and killing Lady D. I didn't feel like it was a Resident Evil game after that. I mean, it had some points here and there. Like, okay, this is Resident Evil style. But after after you get past those parts, it's like, okay, why are we still doing this again? 
<laughs> but that's just my opinion on the game. I do love this game, though. I, I'm not going to front. I, I think they should just call it Village and not Resident Evil. If they had called it Village and not Resident Evil, this would have been... Like, if they wouldn't have brought Ethan in Resident Evil 7 and they just called it Village, you know, Village 1, Village 2, like, this would be... I would have gave Village a nine out of, Village two a nine out of ten, Village one out of.